Welcome in to Bon Appetit. We have Tiff Smith with us here, yes, and she cooks in, in all the contests. Yes, ma'am, I try. The, at the Alabama Fair, in the Creative Living Center, and we have had such fun. We had her last year, and I swear, Jack, yes. I, everything you cook is Thank good. You. No wonder you have yes. all those blue ribbons. I have good roots. <laughs> <laughs> you do have good roots. Absolutely. And, and she's got something for us today in a crock pot. So it this is. looks so healthy and good. And you want this for crock pot cooking, right? Right, right. Yep. It has to be cooked in a crock pot. You can do sweet, you can do savory. And this one is actually put on by Alabama Living. Okay. So if you get in the top three, you get to be in the magazine. Wow. Oh, and they wow. tell your story okay. and mm -hmm. your recipe. It's pretty cool. Well, and, and one more. You told us last time, but remember, it costs money to do this and to, to enter and buy all the ingredients, but ribbon winners win money prizes so you stand yes. a chance of having everything you've spent and paid for and more right mm -hmm. and and what we do or what i do is all through the year you know you buy things right you know you you find something on sale and mm -hmm. you put it back going well maybe i'll use this one but this is one of our biggest contests it's i believe the it used to be five hundred dollars for first place wow but now i think due to the economy it's down to like 250 for first <laughs> place and 200 <laughs> for second and maybe 175 for third but you know it, it it's so good <laughs> it's it so looks good. good so this one is called pineapple pulled pork crock pot baked bean camp stew oh okay a little bit of Many pieces can't, of heaven. Can't get all that on a <laughs> Well, on a the business story card. behind this is I, I was going to make baked beans in a crock pot. Okay. And then I kind of kept adding. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I kept adding. That's what good cooks do. A little of this. Uh -huh, a little of this. A little, little of that. Little hot sauce. Mm hmm. Exactly. Little, little yellow label alaga syrup. Exactly. <laughs> Put a little bacon in it. Mm hmm. So this one's really easy. It's it's in a crock pot. I love it because you can just dump, 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 right, and you're done. Right. So we've got one large, or yeah, one large can of baked beans in the tomato sauce. Now I believe I use bushes. Okay. Or one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you want to use a, a small can of the regular baked beans. Okay. Just okay. like okay. good old red sauce. Mm -hmm. All right. And then you're going to take a 15 ounce can of kidney beans because you want it to be real beany. And then a can of yellow corn. Okay. All right. Um, then you're going to take a half a cup of alligator syrup, pour it all in there, put five, six, seven, ten, fifteen shakes of alligator hot sauce okay. in it, depending on your taste and how hot you want mm -hmm. it. Um, you're going to take a 15 ounce can of tomatoes, chopped, crushed tomatoes. Mm -hmm. All right. A pound of bacon. You're going to take your bacon, put it in your black skillet, fry it up. You're going to take two cups of your, you can buy it, you can make it, again, as we have talked about right. before, that frozen pulled pork. You're going to take two cups of that pulled pork and a pound of Koneka sausage. Oh now, boy. Kines oh, wow. that is also an <laughs> Alabama <laughs> product. If Amen. you've never tried it, right. it's really good. Um, so you're going to take your bacon and, and your Koneka, you're going to fry it up because you want to get all that grease out. Mm -hmm. Right. And then take just a little bit of the grease and put your one bell pepper and a chopped onion. Oh, from healthy. From right. till they're good and, and soft with your minced garlic. Now you're going to take the bacon, you're going to cut it up. You're going to take your, your uh, Koneka and make sure you get all the oil off. Right. And you're going to put it in the pot with your pulled pork. Going to add a half a cup of ketchup. A couple of tablespoons of Dijon mustard and uh, salt and pepper to taste. Um, put it all in the crock pot, put it on low, cook it overnight, and guess what? Oh, and this has pineapple in it too. I'm looking okay, at it. I was so going to ask It's you. got okay. pineapple tidbits in it. Okay. So that you get gives a small it that can of that, or is it just a, the small, a small can of right. the tidbits, and pour okay. all of it in? Mm -hmm. That's where you get your sweetness from. Now okay. let me ask you this: Do you drain your your beans, or I do, do not drain anything. The, okay, I okay, just okay. dump okay. it all in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Turn it, it on easy. low, and I mean, come so basically, on. Uh, what is is that? A two quart or a, a three? Four? This is a two quart. Two quart mm -hmm. crock pot. So yeah. you got so you got about a half a gallon worth of camp stew there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Great for for food. 
football, right. great yeah. for family gatherings. And a Absolutely. lot of health, good healthy stuff. Yes, yes. sir. Too. And yes, it's it, actually easy. That's right. It's, this is not hard. No, ma'am, it's not. I love the way well, you listen, cook. Hey. We, we thank you for easy. being with us for the past few weeks. Thank you all you so also, much. You also manufacture your own brand of pickles. I do. Yeah, I so do. We can give you a little plug for well, your pickles here. It's called you. the Pickle Plug. Well, That's actually, <laughs> I, love I came up with this. It's called Tiff's Piggy Pickles. Tiff's Piggy Pickles. Yes, okay. sir. I make well, the deal, good. the hot deal. Um, hopefully, I'm going to be at the market uh, up on Madison Avenue, so good. maybe you can find me there. Okay. If not, sure. I go to a lot of the local. But thank right. y'all. Right. This is my pickles. baby. Oh, okay, you got to have a baby. You got to yeah. have a baby. This <laughs> yep. keeps me busy. Absolutely. And I have to stay busy because that's, that's right. what keeps you young. Well, you are yeah, so right. fun to stay have. stay young. Thank y'all so, so much. You. I am so yep. blessed to have y'all in my Thank life. Thank you. <laughs> and it's the Alabama National Fair. starts on the 4th of October, goes to the 14th at Garrett Coliseum in Montgomery. The Creative Living Center has all these cooking. If you want these recipes, send me an email, jack at galassiniadv.com. It's on the screen. And I will send you all four recipes that Tiff did for us over the past few weeks. And she's getting ready to pour a nice little uh, helping of this wonderful camp stew out here. Virginia is going to jump in it. And I'm going <laughs> to say we'll be right back right after this. <laughs>